Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe, it is me Yasa. Welcome back to another reading. This is going to be messages from your twin flame. So whether you two are together or separated, I'm going to try to pull some energy between the both of you, um, their energy, your energy, and then we'll just see what's going on between you and your twin flame. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. No weapon that's woman against me shall prosper. Return to sender any and all negativity. Please give me clear honest messages for Leo and their twin flame. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels of love and protection, protect me, keep me safe. Protect me, protect my viewers, protect the messages. For shame. Thank you, Universe, for protection. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. What's the current energy in Leo's love life? What's going on currently for Leo? All right. Remember, you guys, this is for whenever you see these messages, you can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me, and also donate to the channel. Okay, Leo. Pay attention to the red flags, Leo. The signs are cautioning you. Then we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Either you need to clearly decide what you want or your person needs to clearly decide what they want. The red flags is that someone can't make up their mind. Someone doesn't know what they want. Okay? So that's what's going on. The current energy in your love life, Leo. Where's Leo's twin flame currently on, their, on this journey? Where's Leo's twin flame currently? Tell me about Leo's twin flame. This is for Leo. Tell me about Leo's twin flame. Tell me about Leo's twin flame, please. Give me the energy of Leo's twin flame, please. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. They're trying to achieve something. This is for Leo. Leo's twin flame. You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. We have one and two. Aries, act, Taurus, cultivate. So this per your twin flame is definitely in some masculine, go get it type energy. And to be honest, they're probably only thinking about themselves right now. Okay, it said to read this. All right, 38. Breaks down to an 11. So we have Aries, Taurus, and Imam Koeli. This says root. So we're going to read these and see what's going on. Okay. So this is the energy of your twin flame. Remember, y'all can flip out the roles and reverse it. It could be your energy or their energy at any given time. So Aries asks you to remember your personal fire, your reasons for being alive. So begin, move into a new territory, cut to the chase, be a hero, feel the call to action, clear the air and clear the desk, be crisp, express affection, express affection enthusiastically, spontaneously and passionately. Work in short, intense bursts. Aries activates our inner adolescence. Direct orders can set off knee-jerking rebellion. Instead of telling others what to do or how they feel, express your own experience and opinion and speak in I terms. Set challenges. And the challenge may be accidents increase when you are in a hurry, rushing through a project, or impatiently distracted. The gift of Aries marks the beginning of, it, of spring in the northern hemisphere okay and then it says feel the flowing inner life force trust this divine direction and summon the courage to begin okay so miracles this is the energy of your person there they're on a brand new beginning a brand new journey acting they've got some challenges that they're learning but this is all for the betterment of themselves then we have taurus cultivate Ooh, if I could pick the card up. So Taurus asks you to hold still, dig in, grow roots, and strengthen over time. And then we have roots right here. Okay, so these cards is telling a message. 
signified by the bull standing in its field taurus rose the neck and voice its purpose is to bring life into matter through growth growing wild flowers crops and all of those things it says through the solidness of our material resources the sun shines here april 21st through may 20th action work with the meta work with the metaphor of gardening plow the ground plant the seeds grow roots rather than travel so your person is on a journey they need to take action get some things figured out work through their challenges and once they're done figuring themselves out learn how to grow roots learn how to be stable learn how to sit still okay in a relationship listen to both the signals of body chemistry and practicalities of your life to give a fertile field cultivate your garden so it's all about go find it go get it go now it's time to plant it and grow it and work with it okay your person is basically the same as you you have clearly decide what you want now that this person is finding out what they want they need to learn how to keep it grow it manage it okay and then it says for taurus like a slowly growing flower basking in the sun, find contentment in this moment. Explore the roots of the situation. Ask what feeds this idea or what feeds your soul. If you're feeling pushed about, sit, hold still, grow some roots. Don't hurry. So Aries is being very fast, active, um, things like that. Taurus is sitting still. So this is already like two dual two dualities, two different types of energies. The challenge for Taurus is Taurus excess can lead you to mistake stubbornness for strength or look for spiritual and emotional answers in the material world. There will never be enough stuff to fill an emotional void. Sensuality is a Taurus gift, but sex alone will not fulfill a desire for love. Clarify your hunger. So figure out what it is. Don't put material things on spiritual things. Don't put spiritual things on material things. Taurus's gift, everything that surrounds you is made up of matter. And the word matter comes from the Latin word mater or mother. Taurus connects you to the sacred earth mother Gaia herself, the physical vessel who holds spirit in the body, in the plants and in the earth beneath us. This is beautiful. I like this, your person. So maybe this is why y'all still single. This part, this is some hard shit to go through, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm not giving this person no leeway or anything like that. But damn, ain't no wonder why they fucked up. But yeah, it's, it's easy to fuck this shit up. Let me go back to Aries. Aries gives marks the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere. After a long dark winter, the dead landscape comes alive. Plants that were shorn of leaves or dormant now breathe new life and here's more plants right here so this is just it's kind of like the steps of farming and gardening the steps of growing things how do you grow a plant you got to have the seeds get the seeds plant the seeds this is the action you take figure out what it is water it and all of this stuff Taurus is sit down let it grow you know things like that and then we have root right here number 38 the moon imagine your spine extends down into the earth like a taproot the strong central root under a tree do the earth to a point on the sun's path below latin for bottom of the sky the moon coily points to the memories of the memories and experiences that fed your first roots your early home life your family's traditions and your biological and emotional heritage. Action, look to the roots. Think about what makes you feel at home and secure. Lean into habits that help you feel secure and grounded. If you enjoyed your childhood, family traditions can help you feel safe and strong. If you grew up around arguments, arguing with people at home, that may seem normal to you, but that may not be the case for your housemates. So you may need to learn to present your points in a more transformative and less combative way. The challenge, unconscious patterns from your personal history may underlie the situation and need excavation. Gift, 
Build roots of your own. Fill your spine. Extend like a deep tap root of a tree into the ground. Feel the strength of the earth pulsing up through your through you, holding you through a strong like holding you like through any strong storm. So basically, this person, their red flags is they can't decide what they want. Where they are currently now is trying to decide what they want. Spirit has their own things that they're doing with this person. Whatever, wherever you are in this um, timeline, this could have already happened, could be happening now. But Leo, this person, they got some stuff to work out. They got some stuff to work out. They got to take action, then they got to cultivate, then they got to plant roots. You know, it's a lot. Can they do it, Leo? Can they? I don't know. I like this. Okay. Now let's get into the good part. Oh, shit. Oh, they have. Okay, so give me the current energy between Leo and that person. What's the mutual energy? How do they both feel right now? How does Leo and their twin flame both feel? How do Leo and their twin flame feel? What is the mutual energy between Leo and their twin flame? Relationships at the bottom of the deck. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So both of you are trying to learn to only fuck with people who serve your highest good. You know, no more fake friends. And relationships still came out. Y'all seen me. Y'all seen me shuffle. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. You and your twin flame are both trying to um, have healthy relationships, healthy roots. You and your person are basically marrying each other. All right. Except this person um, has a, a little harder than you. They got more shit that they need to figure out. And I think because they're the masculine. Hmm. We have gratitude at the bottom. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So how you and your person feel, you're both trying to work out your relationships. You're not trying to be attracted to people who hurt you in any type of way. People who use you and manipulate you. So, yeah. All right. Give me past, present, and future for Leo's twin flame. Past, present, and future. From Leo's twin flame. Okay, they said, I wish I could share my good news with you. So maybe they're finally starting to wake up. Maybe they're finally becoming a better person. Or maybe they're finally just um, seeing life in a different way. I wish I could share my good news with you. I want to feel that way again. And sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. And I want to tell you how I feel. Okay? It's all about I, I, I. They're, they are saying I now. Okay, maybe they're learning to not be so combative and so argumentative. So in the past, it says you were the best thing in my life. You guys clearly might not be together, but they're in the past. You were the best thing to them. I don't know how they screwed it up, but they did. Currently in the present, the timing just wasn't right for us. If I could pick this damn, can't pick the card up, y'all. The timing just wasn't right for us. Okay future i'm starting to understand our connection so i'm feeling like they're starting to understand you guys this connection i feel like this is what's going on currently okay they're finally starting to understand the connection the timing just wasn't right for you guys but they know that they feel it you were the best thing in their life okay all right Give me one message. What would Leo's twin flame like to say to Leo? What would Leo's twin flame like to say to Leo? What would Leo's twin flame like to say to Leo? This is 
from Leo. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. So they're still fantasizing about you. They're manifesting you. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath until you're finally there. They're trying to manifest you. All right, clarify this. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. So they know they hurt your feelings. They know they judged you. They're sorry for that. They're sorry for judging you. They're sorry for hurting your feelings. They feel like you're on the other side of their every breath. So every, every breath they take, they feel you. They miss you. They want to they wanna be with you. What they wish they could say to you, they wish they could say sorry. Okay. The, what they wish they could say to you as well is they have not forgotten about you. No matter how far they get or no matter how much time passed. They feel like you're on their every breath and they can never forget about you. Tell me more about Leo's twin flame, please. You can be done with the Capricorn. This could have been toxic. Because when I split the deck, there's the sun card right there. <clears throat> Tell me more about Leo's twin flame, please. This is for Leo. The Knight of Swords, communication. This person... They were a firecracker. It's very hard talking to them. Ten of Swords, yep. Very hard talking to them. Laid up and leave anytime they wanted to. Then they tried to come back into your life anytime they wanted to. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Leo. Now, this Twin Flame could have been a karmic. Okay, Ten of Swords, the King of Wands. Yeah, this person used sex. They used their looks. They used their charm. They didn't really have no substance. That's what I'm getting. They didn't have any substance, the Seven of Wands. They were a hollow shell. This person had nothing going for them spiritually, mentally, physically. None of that. Well, they could have been sexy. The King of Wands is sexy. But what I'm saying is they just, they had no substance, no depth to them. Nothing. Nothing. They had nothing. I don't know how you were attracted to them in the first place. I'm just saying what you said. You said that. It came in my mind. You said it. That's why I said it. Clarify the Eight of Cups. They were a liar, a cheater, a thief. They stole your time. Here's the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is your person. I don't know what the hell. The King and Queen of Wands. You see that shit. Y'all ain't looking at each other, though. You walked away from them. You walked away from the heartache and pain and they bullshit. They stuck in this heartache, pain, and bullshit. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're not taking no offers. You're not taking any prisoners. You said, I'm done. I'm closing my heart off. I'm just not accepting anyone that does not assist in my soul's growth. And your person thought this that, that this was where the party was. It's not. Clarify the Three of Swords. For Leo and their twin flame. The lovers, it hurts you to love this person. There could have been multiple people involved, not just the third party. Could have been a fourth and fifth party. Clarify the three of swords and the lovers. Oh, there's love here still. Oh, my Lord. Oh, see, my daddy's a cold without you. But I'm hurting while I'm with you. And though my car can't take no more, I keep on running back to you. You can be dealing with a Virgo. Someone who does not know how to express their emotions and their feelings at all. They run away from their emotions. They push their emotions away. As soon as you say anything about feelings or emotions, they block you off. They run away. They stop talking to you. That's super immature and fucked up. Clarify judgment for Leo. You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio. Clarify judgment for Leo. I don't see it being no second chances, Five of Cups. Clarify judgment in the Five of Cups. The Emperor. You might be going towards an Aries. Maybe you're trying, you're just saying, you know what? I'm I'm only going to be in control of what I can control. I can only control myself, my emotions. I cannot control the situation. And I'm just gonna leave it as is. Clarify the Emperor.
Ten of Cups. Ooh. Ace of Swords. Here go. Here they go. Knight of Swords. This was them. This day energy. Nine of Pentacles. I see they're single for real this time. Nine of Pentacles. The Chariot. Hierophant. Eight of Swords. Six of Wands. It's like they can't see happiness without you. They can't see happiness without you. Damn. You see that? Strength was the only card that that flipped over. All them cards gonna jump out my damn hand. <sighs> they can't see. They, they just, I don't see them being happy without you. But like, that could be a cop out. That's what I hear. It's a cop out. Because you be dealing with a Virgo or somebody who is very distant. But, um... Clarify this energy that your twin flame is in, that Leo's twin flame is in. The King of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. It's not a good energy to be in. Clarify this energy, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, they're trying to get this wheel to turn. Here, here it is right here. They still have the hots for you. So for some reason, they're in the Empress energy and you're in the emperor energy leo this is your energy you're the masculine because remember aries and taurus and root came out so are you going through this as well or was this you the whole time going through this here's aries that came out here's taurus slash libra that came out with the star healing Clarify the Empress for Leo's person, Seven of Wands. The Moon. Clarify the Seven of Wands and the Moon. Nine of Wands. They're blocking all. They're closed off. Why are they closed off? What's this closed off energy? The Seven of Pentacles. They're taking their time out. They, they. I'm telling you, these seeds that they have to grow... This action and all this extra shit they got to do. They'll make their way back to you, but it'll take time, Leo. I'm just going to be honest. It will take time. I see you could possibly get in a whole nother connection before this person come back. Okay? Yeah, you're in a whole nother connection. Judgment, the Emperor, and the Ten of Cups. You're in a whole nother connection before this person comes back. Ain't no cups on their side. Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to grow these seeds, plant these seeds. They have a lot of stuff to work through. They're trying to get this wheel to start turning. They probably have karma that they need to work through as well, Leo. They can't come back to you. Spirit won't let them. They have too much negative karma on them. That don't have nothing to do with you. You have a new beginning. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close this reading. You could be dealing with anybody. Every Almost every sign came out, y'all. But um, I'm going to close this reading, but I'm going to read the two, the two cards that came out for you before we go. You had Aries, Taurus, and then Ruth. So let me see. these for you and I'll let you go so we have Aries which did come out of your spirit the Emperor act Aries asks you to remember your personal fire your reasons for being alive it pumps you up to the volume of your life source its energy is raw exhilarated direct rude passionate and looking for a challenge Use your wisdom to focus this raw power and give it a go. Aries is the cardinal fire sign whose fresh, bass, brash enthusiasm is symbolized by a headstrong ram. The action begin. Move into new territory. Cut to the chase. Be a hero. Feel the call to action and thoroughly respond. Clear the air and clear your desk. Be crisp to the point. Shoot from the hip. Set healthy boundaries. Just by being vibrantly alive, express affection enthusiastically, spontaneously, and passionately. 
Okay, Aries activates your inner adolescence. Direct orders can set off knee-jerking rebellion. Instead of telling others what to do or how to feel, you need to express your own experiences and the opinion and speak in I terms. Set a challenge and let others find their own answers. Make sure all sides feel heard. In a in a person, if a person feels torn between meeting their own needs and meeting others, they'll take care of their own first. Aries energy boils over quickly. If a situation threatens to erupt in conflict, get out, take a break, come back later. Your challenge or your person's challenge, accidents increase when you are in a hurry, rushing through a project or impatiently distracted. This flammable temperament can spark inspiration or spark a conflagration. Aries gift marks the beginning of spring. Plants that were shorn, they, they're alive again, basically fill the flowing inner life force, trust the divine, all of that, okay? Courage. So then we have Taurus, cultivate. Taurus asks you to hold still, dig in, grow roots, and strengthen over time. Manifest. Take action. Work with a metaphor metaphorical garden investigate what concrete forms projects should take appreciate the senses notice what you see smell hear feel taste use the senses to be in the present moment and let time flow cuddle and feed in a relationship listen to both si listen to both sides okay explore the roots of the situation ask what feels Ask what feeds the idea or what feeds your soul. Don't hurry. Play the long game as you plant it to tend your garden. Taurus excess can lead you to make stubbornness. You can mistake stubbornness for strength or look for spiritual and emotional answers in the material world. There will never be enough stuff to fill an emotional void. But Taurus's gift says everything that surrounds you is made of matter. In other words, um, mater or mother. Taurus connection to the sacred mother earth. Okay. Woo. Then we have root. Root. Okay. Look at the roots. Think about what makes you feel at home. Lean into good habits. If you grew up and people are arguing, you may argue with other people and people may not like that. So only focus on the good things. All right challenge unconscious patterns from your personal history may underlie the situation and you need to fix it but the gift is you can build roots of your own you can start over you can do things you know from scratch just start over make your own life make your own roots do take action take time to plant you know start over again that's all i have for you <laughs> you can like share subscribe leave me a comment leave me a love donation you can book a personal reading with me Donate to the channel. Until I see you guys again, you guys be safe. And I'll see you later. Bye.